Welcome back, St. Lucia. If you're just joining us, you're watching This Morning here on DBS. I'm your host, Chayla Mendez. Now, we're looking at things a little bit differently, and we wanted to try something new, especially as we met up with Team 758 and Sharon Dupes Bryce as we checked out everything about the Vader movement. Let's check it out. Good morning, St. Lucia what up, what up? and morning. the rest of the world the and anybody else who's catching world. us. You're watching This Morning on DBS, your number one station. And we are off the set, which is always so much fun. And we, I mean, we're on a beautiful island. We're on the most beautiful island in the world. I second that. The universe to be correct. St. <laughs> Lucia. So we chose to come to Serenity Park yeah. because as the name suggests, it is serene and it is beautiful and it is lush and it's just good to be outdoors. So and I've come to disrupt that serenity today. Um, so yeah. Yeah, as right. usual, Dupes <laughs> does it again. So today we're actually going to be talking about a very big movement okay. and we want to make it really big in St. Lucia. Right. Yeah. But we're here to talk about Vader and right. let you and any other creatives out there know what Vader is. So you know what, Dupes, take it away. Oh my goodness, the pressure is on me now. So we're talking about hashtag SSS Vader. Vlog every day in, in August. August. Um, it's a movement that started on YouTube. Um, I was introduced to it by a friend of mine named Amy S because it's really hard to pronounce her last name but the SSS stands for um, Savvy Sexy Social. And um, she's a YouTube marketer. She's a YouTube teacher and um, we met in... We met when we were in Manchester, actually, during the From St. Lucia With Love tour. And I've been following her guidance as to how to use the internet uh, to, to promote myself as an artist. And, you know, when you, when you get knowledge, you, you, you have to teach, you know, you, you impart it. You may not be an expert, but when you know a little bit, if you teach it, more people can learn from it. So um, when I did it in April, kind of like by myself. That was not by choice, but that was by fear because I really was just doing an experimental thing. And when it was coming back again for August, I was like, no, this time, you know, let's get the creative people in St. Lucia involved. So I contacted some of my friends, those that were brave enough to start with me on day one i'm so happy um i actually did a couple of days before just to, so you guys could get an idea and as an excuse for me to exercise so i could shed some of those german pounds <laughs> from last year <laughs> from from last week sorry so we we got the ball rolling and people have been involved it's it's amazing and you know i'm one of the persons involved too of course dupes did it and got me in right. um and i think we are up at some ungodly hour when right. he told me that i'm like what on earth is veda and when he told me about it um i was really excited because i mean it's something that i've been doing right not really formally but to do it religiously or at least try to commit every day right. gives you the practice that you need to get better and not to mention we want to put st Lucia out on the market so whether you are from an entrepreneur to a painter to someone you into know, the cook, arts a dancer, cook, yeah just or just like a funny random person youtube it's exists for you the internet exists social media exists but where is our presence like on a daily basis like we we spend so much time looking at people observing how do we make a contribution you know like years from now these will be our diaries you know what i'm saying so um I, and another thing is that we always get this thing about our st lucian creatives market ready and one part about being market ready is being able to speak in front of a camera being able to speak live and this is an opportunity to do this with no judgment right. no holes barred we're just doing our thing there are topics that we talk about every day and everybody just expresses themselves we have j birds we have chocolate we have maria who's doing a hair thing we have right. chela i don't want to miss anybody Sean. we have Deshaun, that and everybody's coming from a different level and with different energies we're yeah. in, i've invited a couple few people if i haven't seen you all i'll be looking out <laughs> If you want to find us, it's hashtag SSS Vader. Yeah, but, and we're doing it on YouTube. We're doing it on Facebook. We're doing it, yo, you, Twitter. Like, um, Joanna gave this amazing story the other day about not holding grudges. And I was like, that's not the topic. And then Chela is talking about centipede bites. And that's not the topic, but we're learning stuff. And you guys are expressing yourselves. And it's just amazing to see that with, we're only on day three. And people are growing, you know, growing. They say the, the, um, the, the two fears in life are um, public speaking and death. And death is higher than public speaking. So that means people would rather be in the casket than giving the eulogy. Isn't that funny? So Veda is breaking the walls down with that. It's breaking the walls down. Um, it's especially giving persons a chance to express themselves. Um, you know, topics really are not limited mm -hmm. to one particular thing. And, right. you know, anybody who's interesting, interested sorry, in being part of the movement, you know, you don't even have to worry if you 
think, oh my gosh, but I don't even know what to talk about because right. there is a monthly, well, a the calendar daily, for the yeah. month mm-hmm. daily that gives you suggested topics. Right. So you can come up with your own topics or if you need the help, then you use and we're the here calendar. to help you to embrace you. I see it going on on Facebook all the time. Um, people are posting music videos and going on everybody's wall and sharing. It's great, guys. Making music is amazing, but now it's all about bearing our souls. Like music is just another part of our brand. Dancing is another part of our brand. Painting is another part of our brand. We are in a world now where we can share our souls and share our experiences, and I think that's the movement. Let's. Everybody's like, but who am I to do this? But I may be looking up to Chela. Chela might be looking up to me, and she might be seeing something that I'm experiencing. She, I went through that. You know, I could help dupes deal with that, and I'm commenting and I'm sharing, and it's really making a difference. It's really making a difference. There are people on YouTube all over the world doing it, so you guys need to get involved. Um, hashtag SSS Veda. Yo, we Veda in right now. Like, we have my hand. Like, I can't even stabilize the cell phone properly, but we're doing it right yeah, now. He so doesn't have Parkinson's. See. It's really just, yeah. It's just, this yeah. cell phone is heavy. We need to get some lighter cell phones. But listen, it's about the Veda movement, right. and we want to big up hashtag Team758 because we want to start the movement. So yeah, come build your that. brand. Yeah. yeah, he forgot it, but yeah. that's, you know, that's why that's I'm why here. That's a team. That's right. It's hashtag a team effort, team and everybody is supporting each other. So mm-hmm. come out, be part of it. It's not too late to yeah. sign up. Um, What yeah. is the website again so that people can join to register? The website, the website is like, yeah, you, you could go to, um, is it SavvySexySocial.com? And you go to, you look for Veda and you could sign up to register and you'll be a part of a network of YouTubers, vloggers, Instagrammers, creative people are all around the world that will be a network of people that are willing to support creative people whilst they do their thing. Um, and yo, what else? You know what? It's free. Let's add that because, you know, oh, people yeah, have sign up and they might <laughs> run away. So it is free. Absolutely it free. free. It is definitely so. free. And, and you spend your time making some amazing memories. Like, yeah. I will never forget some of the stuff. Like, and you guys... Can you stay safe out there whilst y'all are vlogging? Like, keep your head up. If it's Pokemon Go or whatever you're vlogging about, just stay safe because Chela got bit. j Bird's got cut whilst washing the dishes. Like, I'm not about that life. Like, I'm Correction. doing myself as I'm walking. I got bit by a centipede, but not whilst blogging. Vlogging. So, there's a big difference. Just he stay safe out there, please. Listen, he missed a fall <laughs> walking in here because he was vlogging. So, that's the difference. Be safe. Oh, that's why it's, it's Chiwe. It's, that's right. Chiwe it's a Chiwe. Chiwe. All right? <laughs> he missed the Chiwe, not me. Okay. But anyway, so it's hashtag. SSS Veda go mm-hmm. sign up for it can be part of the Veda movement and let's build team 758 and get our brands out there and just connect with everybody and let the world see everything that we have to offer okay that's right so From keep Saint Lucia it love. locked keep it locked boom all right so now you're in the know so we're calling all creatives to vlog every day in August don't go anywhere we have so much more in store we'll be right back Hey, good morning, St. Lucia. Guess what? We're pulling strings in this segment. We have 18-year-old Melody Favrier, a top student from the St. Lucia School of Music, who spent four months in Venezuela doing intense studies on music, primarily in the violin. So we were able to catch up with her, and here's the scoop. So let's check it out. Well, I started when I was very young, about four or five. My dad plays a little up to this day, and he was trying to teach my older brother and I was very intrigued by the violin. So he had a a whiteboard which he would put up and he would teach us the music notes and from then on I decided wow I want to play this instrument and I enrolled in the St. Lucia School of Music about later that year and I've been playing since. Um, The orchestra in which I studied with um, there are a range of ages going from uh, 7, 8 to 18, 19 and really everybody puts aside how old you are, how good you are because some play, some have been playing longer than others and I really learned how to work as a team and it, in the orchestra it goes past just sitting and playing the same music. Really we learn to be a family, we learn to share our achievements after we worked hard for weeks upon end on a specific piece and we go and we perform for people. It's like a celebration, it's like an achievement and we're all smiling and laughing after we've played well. And that, you keep that in your heart and you carry that with you, that experience for the rest of your life. And my goal is to create, in the best of my ability, create uh, a system similar or the same as Antonio Abreu did for the children and 
the millions of people in Venezuela, for the Caribbean and for St. Lucians and other Caribbean islands. So that music can really touch people and save lives because I really do believe that music can save lives. It's not just reading music or playing music. It's really something phenomenal that brings us together. And I would like to see Caribbean people brought together from island to island. I would like to see that we come together through the art of music. So I would like to do that for the Caribbean and for my country. And I would like to thank the St. Lucia School of Music for all the experiences and all that they have taught me because I met my music teachers, I met many people through the St. Lucia School of Music and they have helped me to grow and helped me to be where I am today. My parents have been very supportive. Um, music is something that not many people look at as something you can dwell into and be successful at because it's very competitive and it, it might be um, a little shaky sometimes, difficult, but they've been very supportive and I'm thankful to God that I have parents who support me because that is very important to have a family, parents who support you in whatever you do. And they would help with the blessings and wherever you decide to go in life. It came quite as a surprise. I was doing my regular practice and they were still very young, um, toddlers and she showed a keen interest in the violin in particular. And I thought I should introduce her to the violin. Although I taught my three children music, um, the oldest I taught him the piano, and the youngest I was teaching him the bass. And my daughter I gave the violin. And we had a regular kind of practice habit in the house, one hour a day. And over a period of time, I felt it was necessary to take all of them to the music school and my daughter just continued to grow and excel in, in the instrument, the violin. Tell us how proud you are of her, what she has become today. Oh yes, I'm extremely proud because um, she exemplifies discipline. She has the passion and the love for music. And um, I am also a musician and I know the kind of liberty that knowing and playing music can bring for you. And I think, you know, she has, in a way, allowed it to manifest so that others could see and others can be encouraged, especially young St. Lucians, that with music you can make a contribution and it could help the, the country get recognition internationally depending on how seriously you take yourself. Okay. It is a pleasure for the Embassy of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela and the team of the Embassy and by myself the opportunity to to know that this wonderful project is developing is um, is developing from 2013 was our first experience with the students of the School of Music in September 2013 was the first time when 10 students from San Lucia visited Venezuela during two weeks and they received an intensive workshop and was a wonderful experience. In December, in the same year, we received in San Lucia eight teachers, eight maestros from the System of Orchestra of Venezuela. And during two weeks, we had the opportunity with a spectacular workshop in San Lucia. Now, who says St. Lucia doesn't have talent, right? Now, if you are a creative person looking to build yourself, build your brand or your image, our next segment is definitely for you. So do not touch your dial. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Hey, St. Lucia. Again, you are watching this morning right here on DBS. I'm your host, Chayla Mendes. And sticking with our theme of our creatives and development and growth, I have another St. Lucian creative here with me who may be under the radars but doing some big, huge, massive work. I have Jameson here with me. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. And you may or may not know, but he is the man behind videos like Guilty with Dupes and so much more, even movements with Mecca. Um, tell us a little bit more about what you do because he is responsible for creative development. Hi guys, my name is Jameson Hunt. I am a creative. Um, I started off in photography and then moved on to videography. Um, some of my work here which um, is guilty and 
seasons that I did with Dupes and even before that we did each other Caesar videos that we did about seven or eight in two weeks. Um, that was with Mecca, right? Yeah, that was with Mecca and showing, showing Dupes Bryce. Um, now on to that, what, what I do now is creative development, which is essentially how to develop a brand beyond what it is now. You know, usually in businesses, um, stuff plateaus. And um, usually people don't know where to go, or how to do it, or how to motivate themselves to get to that point. So when we come in, what we do is just develop your business in a point that where it's supposed to be to maximize your profitability. So that's that's essentially that's essentially it for me. Yeah. Great. Now with this moment, because I know again you've worked with Dupes or still work with him. You've worked with Mecca. When did you realize that you know this is really your passion, what you're into? Well. <laughs> I think it was my passion long before, long before that, long before I, I started to do it. Um, my father wanted me to do economics. I did that, um, but I was always a creative. I um, I started off. My neighbor is actually Bill Motley, and my other neighbor was Michelle Fabier. So it wasn't hard for me to be part of that because it came like it came like second nature to me. So um, yeah, yeah. Great. Now with creative development because of course right now you find there's a movement towards social media um even with our creatives here in saint lucia a lot more people are starting to get into it what would you say to any of the creators out there uh, maybe one of the key things that you would think is important when it comes to developing your brand i think the most important thing is be yourself at the end of the day i mean we don't expect everybody to be a uh, Edison John or we do expect everybody to be a Marshall Montano but at the same time you must be genuine in who you are I mean the social media come the, 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 the way the social media is set up or the way that social is set up is that you cannot lie anymore you cannot fake it anymore you know back in the day you had to fake it to make it now we cannot do that anymore so the point the idea is to be genuine you need to humanize yourself you need to connect with people and the only way you can connect with people is again by humanizing yourself so I think if you want to go into social media, or if you want to become a personality, or if you want to become somebody of relevance, then the most important thing is to be who you are and then sell that. Capitalize on who you are as people, whether it may be your culture, your language, your looks, everything. Just be that. Do not try to sell yourself off as some natural are because you'll come off as a fake. Great. Now, if people want to contact you, because again, you do creative development, how do they reach you? Where can we follow you? Um, well, you can reach me on Facebook. I live on Facebook. I'm seldomly on Instagram and and, thing, and Snapchat, as do I supposed to be. But um, you can reach me on Facebook um, at Creed Cool. Everything at Creed Cool or um, at Joint Chiefs. Joint Chiefs is a quiet company for now. It's very silent, but we are coming on. We should be mainstream by by mid next year. But um, anything Joint Chiefs. My name is Jameson Hunt. On Facebook is J Creed Cool Braga. It's not that hard. So. You can contact me on there. I'm very easy, easy to reach and very accessible. All right, perfect. Well, listen, if you're not inspired yet and don't believe that we have talent, I think this entire series will be testimony to that for you. So, of course, check him out. Follow other creatives. Do what you need to do if you really want to develop yourself. Because, of course, we know St. Lucia has talent without a doubt. So we'll see you soon. Well, that's our show for today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. This is always my saddest part of the day. But on the brighter side, it is Friday. So go out and have a fantastic one and an amazing weekend. And we'll see you right here again on DBS with This Morning Come Monday.